Good morning. Sabal Khair. Do you want to say hello or you want to not say hello? <laughs> I'll say hello. You can say hello. <laughs> These are two ladies from the women's conference here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely morning from Magdala. From Jerusalem and from Kansas. Some of our followers on Sunrise Stroll and Chat. Have a, have a good day. Good Thank you. God bless you. Imagine all around the lake, the water's still pouring in. Oops, what's going on here? Sorry about that. <clears throat> it's really calm this morning. Almost like less. Very few clouds, so that's the cloud that's reflecting here in the water close to us. We just look up there to see the original. So the women's conference got off to a good start yesterday. <clears throat> and some great speakers. And people from many different places. And you can follow that also on the Magdala, English Magdala, YouTube. And I'm not sure if, I think it's also on Facebook. But you can check that out by just going on to the Magdala webpage for the ninth annual women's conference who do you say that I am about women's identity <clears throat> a very big strong theme with people very serious people very <laughs> thoughtful people commenting on this subject and so <clears throat> We also had a very nice experience yesterday. There was a group of Israeli and German high school kids together for 10 days and they came to visit Magdala. And we had a wonderful encounter. It also, not only the kids, but the teachers and the guide were very happy about the time in Magdala, touching many serious historical and shared themes. There are lots of impulses here in Magla to raise lots of questions. <laughs> and issues and discover common realities we share profoundly. week from today is Good Friday and also I'm not sure which day exactly Pesach is starting the Passover of the Jewish people but it's before that so I think early next week and we're in Ramadan I forgot to comment that we're in Ramadan for almost a week now I think <clears throat> it's a very beautiful greeting that people are wished in the wish each other in Ramadan, the Muslim people. And so we have all three uh, periods coinciding, the period of the Passover, the period of Easter, and the period of Ramadan. Ramadan lasts long, a whole month in that sense. <clears throat> as a very active thing. Obviously, Easter also lasts 50 days and 
Passover is celebrated for, I know, for at least eight days, and then subsequent festivities. And the greeting in Ramadan is <clears throat> very beautiful. It says, when you meet somebody in Arabic, they say, Ramadan Karim. And Karim means generous. <clears throat> so you remember the famous basketball player, Karim Abdul Jabbar, I think was his name. Karim means generous. And one of the features of Ramadan, we know Ramadan mostly by fasting, but for pious Muslims, it's a time of generous giving to the poor. And then there's another adjective that's answered. Ramadan Karim is the short one. And then you can say Ramadan Karim wa Mubarak. So that is generous and blessed Ramadan. <clears throat> they have all these little markers out here when the kids were here for the camp and everything is completely vanished when we had two days ago we had 500 kids here with their tents that were here for two days kids from near tel aviv for many of them was their first experience camping out in nature first experience away from home something beautiful One man was, he thought, was 50 years serving in the scouts. So this was a, a scouts adventure. And there were buses parked over here and support vehicles. That bird feels safe out there swimming away from us. I was hoping it's going to take off because they have a very energetic takeoff from the water. A week from today is Good Friday, so the readings continue building the momentum toward that point. And today the first reading is from Jeremiah. Who also goes through this amazing struggle. struggle of oppression and hostility from his enemies, those who don't want his prophetic word, his prophetic criticism. This guy out here doing his morning walk, run. I don't know who it is, he waved, so there's obviously recognition of some sort. Jeremiah 
is experiencing the intense pressure. There has to be a whole bunch of little fish or something there because they all ripple together. But I can't see them from this angle. Yeah, look at that again. They just all stirred. anything and Jeremiah cries out to God for help he has great expressions of horror before their terrible deeds terror on every side let us denounce him and those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine It's amazing how the attitudes of our hearts change and when we are in a friendly mood we overlook certain things but when we are then in hostile attitude every mistake and detail of the other is an irritation and a reason to cry out in protest <clears throat> Perhaps he will be trapped and we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. In their failure they will be put to utter shame. And that's the, the big change that happens then in the gospel is we use those words as well, obviously, but the redemptive attitude overwhelms the revenge attitude. And redemption wants to bring back new life in all those who are broken, hostile. How much our world re needs the redemptive attitude today and it's good to have that in the family. Wise members of the family, big heart, know how not to antagonize. They know how to begin to rebuild bridges when harm was done in relationships. This seems serious to hear about not with any boats in here. Sure. I'm not sure how that's going to affect this camping site because lots of boats just come here, lots of jet skis. I wonder why. Oops, sorry about that, I'm okay. I just stepped <coughs> on the spot and I needed to grab something for not to slip. <coughs> There's a lot of tall grass, so I didn't step completely safely. A redemptive attitude replacing revenge, re replacing... While people can be hostile to us, no matter who is hostile to us, we don't have to be hostile to them. We can even be winsome. We can try to reach understanding. And that's a very interesting chemistry that goes on between human beings. <clears throat> when some are bent on hostility and others are carefully and kindly and gingerly looking for points in common, points to share, points
points where we can build relationship, where not all must be lost, where we can grow together. The amazing thing about Jesus and his passion is that's his attitude throughout the whole passion. It takes a lot of strength to be patient, to be kind, a lot of interior strength. Sometimes the bullies and the destroyers seem to be the most powerful, but oftentimes it's the victims who are the most powerful. Especially when they don't strike back. When they establish mutual understanding. When they lead their opponents to a softening of heart. The great advantage we have over Jeremiah's time is, as, at least as followers of Jesus, is we believe in the resurrection. And that gives us a whole other lease of life to hope for <clears throat> restoration of friendship. And how many martyrs are there who saw their enemies, who condemned them, even executed them, <clears throat> turn completely around. One of the most famous cases is Saul becoming Paul or just at the crucifixion itself, the centurion who calls out, truly this was the son of God. <clears throat> at the end, the great humility of parents, the love of parents, <clears throat> the great work of love in reaching the heart of others. It's really a work of love because at the end of the day, the child knows the parents love them as much as they don't see it immediately and fight against the parents. They know that love, that goodness. So I'll go through the readings today and see that beauty that happens. And all the other good things that are going on, don't forget the pilgrimage that Kathleen is doing. It's really touching on wonderful things yesterday and the Eighth Commandment on truth. I didn't get to today's yet, but it'll be up shortly, or it's up already. Uh, God bless you people. See you later, alligators. May you be blessed today to soften somebody's heart and it could even start by a little prayer for them. <clears throat>